Hello amazing learners. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today we are going to learn something that every civil engineer should know. Height of instrument method. This method is also called as HA method, height of collimation method, HOC method, line of collimation method. So, if the question is asked in any of the names mentioned above, use this method. The following consecutive readings were taken with a dumpy level and a 4 meter leveling stuff on a continuously sloping ground. The instrument was shifted after 5th reading. Radius level of first point is 100 meter. Calculate the radius level of remaining points using height of instrument method. Remember that this is a frequently asked and important question that appears in nearly every examination worldwide. First draw a table like this and enter the readings. I will explain clearly how to enter the readings into the table. The columns represents backside BS, intermediate side IS, foresight FS, height of instrument HI, radius level RL, and finally remarks. Let's start entering readings in this table. The first reading 1.123 should be entered in backside BS. Next, up to change in position, the readings should be entered in intermediate side IS. In question, it is mentioned that the instrument was shifted after 5th reading. Therefore, end of 5th reading in foresight FS. This point is the change in position of instrument CP. CP means change in position, which I have mentioned in remarks column. After this, 6th reading 1.522 should be ended in backside BS. Next readings can be ended in intermediate side IS. Last reading 1.911 should be entered in foresight FS. Remember that Leveling survey always starts with backside BS and ends with foresight FS. Reduced level of first point is already given in question, which is 100 meter. That is the benchmark 100 meter. Therefore, we need to find reduced level of remaining points, that is from 2 to 9 points. Before that, you must know what is mean by benchmark. It is a fixed point of reference of known elevation. To calculate reduced level of remaining points, that is from 2 to 9, we need HI, that is height of instrument. To calculate HI, Use this simple formula, add reduced level plus backside, which is equal to 100 plus 1.123. You will get 1 at 1.123 meter. Next, we have to find reduced level. For that, use this simple formula. Reduced level is equal to height of instrument minus intermediate side or Height of instrument minus foresight. That is subtract intermediate side from height of instrument. Four 
aside from height of instrument. After point 5, there is a change in position of instrument which I have mentioned in remarks as CP. Now we have only reduced level RL and backside BS. This value is RL and this value is BS which means we need to find height of instrument again. We know that height of instrument is equal to RL plus BS that is reduced level plus BS. Therefore add those values. 99.568 meter plus 1.522 meter which is equal to 101.09 meter. Next to find reduced level same procedure is continued. Subtract intermediate side from HI. Subtract four side from HI. That's it. But you might ask yourself, is my calculation correct? Don't worry, there's a formula to check it. The formula is sum of backside minus sum of foresight is equal to last reduced level minus first reduced level. When you do those calculations, you will get this equal values. Hence, your calculations are absolutely right. I hope this video is helpful to you. Other frequently asked questions also solve using rise and fall method and height of instrument method. Kindly check it in playlist. Subscribe to Civil Engineering Shiloh's updates for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.